Okay, so there's been quite a few people asking about how to set up port forwarding. Uh, I did a post on this a little while ago on the blog, um, but um, I think people were after a little bit of a visual uh, tutorial on how to do this. So um, I've just received a new um, uh, small mini travel router, and while I'm just playing around with it, I figured I could probably um, demo how to set up the port forward in uh, for this particular router, but also um, it's very similar to uh, what you might experience for the router of your own. So um, anyway, we're going to have a, a step through it and we'll, um, we'll see if this helps, uh, helps people. So um, here I am just at the, uh, the default interface for the, uh, the router that um, I've got. I've just logged into the admin panel and I've done very little to, to this router other than set a password and connect uh, my Mac Mini to it. So the first thing you need to do here to be able to set this up for um, for uh, Helium uh, or any kind of port forwarding is to give the device that you want to forward the port to, uh, you need to set a, um, uh, a static IP on it, a static IP address on, the, um, on that device. Now for some devices you can do that on the device itself or most routers have got the ability to um, uh, allow you to configure that uh, through the um, the interface. So um, that's the first step we need we need to do because when you open in a port on the router, you need to be able to tell the uh, the router where to forward the uh, the traffic to. So it needs to know the IP address of the uh, the device that you're going to be sending the traffic to. Now, ordinarily, um, for most devices that connect to you know either home Wi-Fi or if they plug into to your router or to a, a switch or something, they get get uh, given a, a, um, a dynamic IP address, which changes pretty much every time you power that device on or every time it connects to the network. So the device IP address will always be changing, and that doesn't really work out very well for port forwarding. You always need to know exactly what IP address you want to forward the port to. So um, you need to set um, a static IP address for the um, for the device. So um, on this particular router here, it's hidden under this more settings tab and under LAN IP. Um, so in on other uh, routers, you'll have uh, something similar. It could be to do with the local area network IP address settings. You might see it listed as DHCP. Uh, it could be yeah you know, LAN settings or something like that. But um, the the it's it's usually yeah something something like that. Uh, in this particular case, it's under this setting called LAN IP. And uh, the thing that we're interested in is this stuff at the bottom here. So static IP address binding. And this just happens to be the language that this GLINet um, router uses, but um, the, um, the the language is, is similar for, um, for for other devices. So you're looking for something that allows you to set a fixed IP address or a static IP address for uh, a device on your network. So um, this is a super simple network. So I've only got one device visible on this, and that's the uh, the Mac that I'm currently uh, working on, um, which happens to be this IP address. Uh, sorry, this device um, Mac address um, listed in this drop down. So I can just pick from the uh, the list. It shows me all of the devices that are currently on the network, um, and it displays the Mac address. And the Mac address is best thought of as a uh, kind of like a serial number, a unique identifier for uh, the particular device um, interface that uh, is connecting to the router. So in this case, um, it's uh, the um, the Ethernet uh, interface. Uh, the uh, I've got this plugged in via cable, um, and it's the um, the MAC address for that that particular interface. If I was connecting to this via Wi-Fi, this would be a different address. So you need to be really careful that you set the right address for the kind of connection you've you've got to the uh, to the router, whether it be wireless or um, um, or uh, wired. So anyway, I've, I've picked the uh, the MAC address there, and then what you can do here is you can set the uh, IP address that you're interested in. Now my uh, MAC, when I've connect connected into this device, it's been given 192.168.8.157 as the IP address, uh, and that's fine. I'm I'm happy for the purpose of this of this demo to uh, to use that. And then if I hit this add button, 
what that's now going to do is it's going to tell me that yeah this Mac Mini and the the wireless sorry the wired interface of that Mac Mini is now always going to be given 192.168.8.157 um, so I can be confident that every time my device connects to this exact router it's going to be always given that um, that IP address um, so that's kind of step one right we've given this a, um, a static IP address uh, so if we were f if this was my hotspot for instance um, uh, my helium miner then I would um, make sure that what I'm doing is picking the the MAC address for for that particular device this is the only device I've got on this network so um, it'll have to uh, to do for the purposes of this demo um, so that's it we've done the static IP address binding um, so it will always get that that IP address when I um, when I boot this thing up so the next thing we need to do is to actually do the port forwarding and this bit's pretty simple too but um, the way you do this again it's going to be very different depending on the kind of router that you have uh, just in terms of the, where it's located and where the um, what language your your particular router uses to describe this this uh, activity um, but for this particular device here it's under this firewall um, setting Okay, so under the firewall setting here, I've got some options for um, port forwarding. It also says open ports on the router uh, or um, the, the DMZ, the demil demilitarized zone settings. Um, for this example, I just want to set up a simple port forwarding. Uh, add an entry in here. So I've um, got to give it a name. So that's useful and it's useful to sort of describe it based on what it is you're, you're actually doing here, what port you're forwarding. Um, this is obviously for Helium and Helium only uses one port. So we'll uh, put in Helium for the name. Um, the protocol, you've got several options here. I believe the only port that you have to open for um, Helium to um, get around this sort of relay and issue is uh, open up port t uh, the protocol TCP, um, but it probably wouldn't hurt to open up both. Um, but um, I think according to the Helium documentation, TCP is the one that's um, uh, that needs to be opened. Um, so then we've got a section here. It says external zone. I can leave that as is. So basically, it's sort of saying from the external side of things, so the outside of my router, um, what port do I then want to open? Uh, so I want to open port 44158, which is the, the port that Helium does most of its... Um, uh, business op over and this is the one you have to open in to avoid the relay an issue um, and then what we have to do here so we've op we've basically indicated what sort of port on that the internet side of the router we are opening and then um, here we've got it says internal zone so on the LAN side the local area network side the inside of your router um, what do we want to do here so I'm going to just pick in this case I can just pick the uh, the IP address that I set for for my device a little bit earlier which was uh, 192.168.157 um, and um, yeah, obviously you'd set whatever the fixed IP address is or static IP address that you've used for your um, uh, for your hotspot. And then on, he on here it says internal ports. Uh, again, you want to put in one four four one five eight because um, essentially what we want to do is we want to open port four four one five eight on the uh, internet side, and we also want that port to pass through <coughs> to a device on the internal network and also on port 44, port 44158. So we need to set the same uh, there as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so that's it. So um, we, we've given it, given it a name. We've indicated what protocol uh, we need to use. And again, it should just probably only be TCP, but probably wouldn't hurt to do both. Um, at the same time, we're setting what external port we want to forward and what IP address we want to forward to, forward it to on the inside of the network, and uh, also what port on that internal IP address um, we want we want the the traffic to be forwarded to. And uh, here we've got an option here to st the status. Uh, currently, we want this to be enabled. Okay, um, I tried that in a moment ago and it complained about the name. I just did exactly the same thing and uh, it seems to have worked okay. So I've just hit the add button and you can now see that we've got some port forwarding set up um, based on the parameters that we just set. Um, 
So that's it. We've um, we've set a static IP address for the uh, the hotspot. So whenever it connects to to my network, uh, it will get given um, the the same IP address uh, each time. And then we've gone into port forwarding via the firewall settings, um, and we've set up uh, the port forwarding for Helium on four four one five eight. Forward in it, forward in that traffic through to um, the IP address that I've set for the. Um, for the um, the hotspot, or in in this case, obviously my Mac Mini. Um, but so whether you've got a sense cap, a link link start, um, uh, or uh, Heltec, or any of the the new hotspots, um, this is the same process that you would follow. Um, it's just making sure it get, gets given a, a static IP address at the beginning, um, and then forward in that that port four four one five eight through to that um, that IP address. So uh, anyway, hope hope that helps um, demystify things a little bit. It's it's pretty straightforward. Um, obviously, you know you, you need to know what what information you need to put in where. Um, but it, look, without all of this explanation, you could see it probably could have got set up set up within sort of thirty seconds. It's um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, probably would pay after you've done this to be able to give your um, your router a bit of a. Um, uh, sorry, not the router. The uh, give the hotspot a reboot, um, and then obviously just wait a little while, and hopefully um, the the relay and issue uh, will go away once the hotspot reconnects to the network and um, recognizes that you've got the uh, the port forwarding set up. Um, I'll leave a link to the blog post um, under this video, so um, have a look there uh, for a little bit more information on some of the theory. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, just uh, sing out in the comments. All right, that's it. Hope that helps.